Hey, welcome. My name is Daniel, and this is Metal Sharpens Metal, the place where we analyze heavy music from a Christian worldview. Today, we are checking out a band recommended by Soul Official on the channel here. The band is called Carmen Yaka. It's Carmen Yaka. Carmen Yaka. I never know how to say it. I know it does. I know it does. <laughs> so they're Swedish too. Uh, I guess that is the name of a fantasy location in a book that they like, something like that. Um, the song is called Breathing. And I know I say it a lot, but this EP is really neat. It's also another one without any screaming, um, but it still has that skillfully wielded heaviness that many of us love. So uh, yeah, let's jump in. Also, I don't have to do any scrolling on the lyrics today, which is nice. Oh man. <laughs> the bounciness never gets old. So much more energy in the song than in these uh, everyday tasks. having a grand time. I love the 90s VHS font. <laughs> it's great. It's so soulful. Not an expected melody progression, though. I really like it. That is such a contortionist moment. That's not a bad thing. Contortionist is awesome. I would copy them if I had skill. drum beat with the like off beat snare every other time that makes me think of test drag. Mm, such a cool riff. It's so weird.
Hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. That was fun. That I this okay. There's a lot to say about this band. And before we go on, I I got the shirt. I had to get the shirt. Uh, it's a simple, attractive design. I liked it. But I gotta say, guys, I don't know who does your T-shirt production. But th these shirts are made for a person who does 10,000 curls every single day, bicep curls, and somebody who does no neck raises. Like you, like almost no neck raises. If there's a, any way you could like give them feedback that like, hey, some of our customers do like a couple of neck raises, like maybe widen that just a little, but they don't do as many bicep curls as you were expecting, that would be awesome. That'd be really cool. But yeah, jokes aside, Shirt's great. Music's great. It's it's great. And I think I saw somewhere these guys described as Happy Thal or like a happy version of the band Viljarta, who kind of goes for that more evil Halloween type sound. So Carmen Yaka hits you with Walls of Joy. And when you dive in, you start to see all these little intricacies. You start to see all these little intricacies. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to say words. But when you dive in, you start to see all these little intricacies and little details that start to come together. and yeah, it just keeps me coming back for more. I, I love this. So I, I went over some of that stuff in the Viljarta video for Ilva, their song Ilva that I did. So describing fall music kind of has this like eerie atmospheric guitars or or some kind of like, you know, notes or melody or something with usually when the guitars really come in, it's like these just heavy, chuggy, bouncy, twisty, bendy riffs that are disconcerting to listen to sometimes. I find it really catchy oftentimes because it's like, how can something so jarring still have some melody and some rhythm? And obviously the band knows what's going on. Like they're playing it together. So it's not just every man for himself. Like they're doing it. But yeah, instead of having the dissonant evil chords in this type of music, Carmen Yaka has chosen to do the more happy, fun, bouncy chords. So this EP has four songs. Um, it's called Ancient Skills. And the four songs are Breathing, Flying, Writing, and listening. If these are skills that like our ancient ancestors had, I'm like 80% sure they couldn't fly back then, but you know, I guess the other ones are right. So I give them a C for history comprehension. <laughs> the overall concept I get from the EP is a little bit cryptic. I think there there's kind of like a spiritualization to some of this stuff at the end. They said forever breathe. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, we need to do that to stay alive, but they're not thinking about it as a simple, you know, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell type type idea it's there's more to it and how they're describing it here let's look at the lyrics here and, and see if we can kind of figure out the theme that they're presenting so yeah really short song a lot of that song was instrumental is a five plus minute song with just uh that much lyric stuff so the colors of a raging storm uh first of all let's note that you that they have to write it that way because they're from Europe. We also see it say air passing by and you being the audience. So that initial part kind of sounds like they're getting really detailed in how they're analyzing basic parts of the world here. So you're picking out like individual colors in a storm that most people would just see as gray. And then you're picking out individual grains of sand that make up the glass in a window. And it kind of reminded me of that video that you may have seen where you kind of start out like in the, in the nebulas and the galaxies and you're zooming in. You, you go past a bunch of stars, you come down to Earth, and then all of a sudden, you're, you know, you're going past the clouds, and you go down to a woman that's looking up in the sky, and then you get down into her eyeball, and you zoom in, and you go all the way down into uh, basically like the neurons within her heads, like, and even, even lower level into the atoms and the quarks or something like that. So a really cool perspective changer. I'll try to edit that in if I find it here. So at the end, uh, you know, we are the audience. The world is not the audience of us is kind of the sense that I got here. Now I know some of you thought that you were the star of your own movies, but Carmen Yaka is saying there's a lot going on in nature that does not depend on your existence to keep going. But then the first indicator that made me think of spiritual things and, and kind of Eastern religions was when they said, finding a deep breath to dive into, which is apparently something that is being done to comprehend the ocean, take apart the sea. Seems like the kind of thing white people with dreadlocks do. When I think of a term like meditation, right, for finding a a breath and diving into it. It's a loaded word. It has a lot of meanings in different religions, or at least it has a lot of applications. But the general definition would be to focus your thoughts on something. And in some of these Eastern religions, they get so meta that you are focusing on nothingness in order to uh, remove 
desire from yourself. You have an absence of desire at this point, theoretically. And, and again, some more meditation kind of uh, indicators here. Guidance, usually meditation is guided, right? Uh, rhythmically uncovered, sometimes they have uh, pacing and like beats and rhythms for, for meditation. And then at the end, to use the opaque assistance, opaque assistance, um, that brings to mind, I mean, assistance. You close your eyes to help with meditation so that you're not distracted by what you can see. You're just in your mind at that point. It would be better if you were unconscious. No. And then you open up the tunnel to insight. So a third eye type concept of of seeing something, insight into something that, that you didn't know was there before. So all of this is pointing to a meditation on what seems like the material world, realizing the complexity they're in, uh, our maybe interconnectedness with the things around us, how, but it still doesn't depend on us. So yeah, kind of an Eastern concept of, of meditation is, is what I'm gathering here. We work on our inner self. Now, this would be a distraction from the main purpose of meditation in Christianity, which is to be focused on God and his law. King David uh, writes in many Psalms that he focuses on God's law day and night. Um, he focuses on his mighty works and he focuses on God's promise. And the same King David probably felt a very similar uh, emotion that, that Carmen Yaka is trying to evoke in this song where meditating on the glory and grandeur of God and realizing that he doesn't depend on us being here either, and ne nor does his creation, that will make you feel very small and insignificant until you remember what, what David also said, which is that God is mindful of man. And that's an amazing thing to consider just in and of itself. It's also interesting that they use the word insight here because uh, in our church, we're going over a study of Proverbs and so much of Proverbs is talking about how the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. And you, you know, fools despise insight, fools despise instruction, but the wise man seeks God and thereby gains knowledge and instruction and wisdom. It's, it's just a, a very interesting reminder that there is a war going on for our attention and it's, how are we going to start our epistemology, our understanding of what we know to be true? Are we going to start it on like our five senses and what we experience and hope that we're just interpreting all that correctly and hope that tomorrow will be just like yesterday? Or are we going to base it off of uh, an unchanging universal standard giver, such as the God of the Bible, who says that he is the beginning of knowledge? So as a Christian, even though they're presenting a different viewpoint from me, uh, I don't have an issue listening to these well-made songs or even buying artwork and t-shirts from a band that uh, is very catchy to me. They write music that very skillfully uses tempo and rhythm and melody and all those things that I was mentioning. Those are all things that God created for us to make music and it's partially for our enjoyment of the music. I can also find value in the descriptions of nature and kind of uh, remembering that we're not as important as we think we are. We're not the star of our own movies and we have a lot going on around us that if we take the time to dive into those details and pay attention just to what's happening. Um, there's a whole lot we can learn. And as a Christian, it should drive us to worship God more. So overall, I love this music. Um, I think it was a really well put together song, but it's important to understand those lyrics, which is a big reason why I make these videos, right? I want to look at the worldviews and understand and have the discussion and, and talk about what all this means. So if you have another song uh, you'd like me to look at, I can put it in the list and, and hopefully get to that someday. But yeah, thanks for making it this far and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. So for anyone who doesn't like that sometimes unsettling nature of classic Thal, uh, you have Carmen Yucca as your as your side piece. Whoops. <laughs> that. No comment. I don't know.